Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Oh, hello. H hi. Yes, okay. That is a zombie. A zombie is attacking us. Okay, good thing we have our sword here. Oh, good. Another zombie. Everybody wants to join the party, huh? All right, fine. Let's hang out. Let's do this. Let's do this. Get a little combat in here. I got to learn how to beat up zombies. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to the world of virtual reality. It's been a long time since we've actually jumped into the vibe here. Uh, today, we are checking out Minecraft for VR, which is really really cool. I thought it would be fun to try this out. Um, keep in mind, couple of things. I'm not very good at Minecraft. Second of all, I'm learning how to play the game with the controls with the Vive. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm like a double noob. It's really, really bad, but at least I got this sweet Minecraft shirt, right? That, that makes me a professional Minecrafter, doesn't it? So, you can basically see this is our world here. This is a brand new world that I just generated. Um, I have no idea what is around us. Uh, it looks like there might, uh, yeah, there's a little sand village over there, which is pretty cool. Um, let's go, uh, chop down some trees. Uh, maybe we'll try, like, to basically build a house, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Um, this could be something that, uh, maybe we turn into a bit of a series here, uh, if you guys really enjoy this. So, you'll have to let me know. You can kind of, uh, join me in this adventure of playing Minecraft and also learning how to play Minecraft, especially how to play it in VR. So, we're gonna do our best here to, uh, to try and survive. Uh, it's still daytime, although I may have wasted a little bit of time with the whole introduction and everything. Also, uh, playing to scale, everything is very, very big, you know? Like, I'm a- I'm an actual character inside of this world, and, uh, everything is enormous. So the fact that I can reach that up there is actually incredible. It makes me feel like I have very, very long arms, which is pretty awesome. All right, so let's figure out how to get into the crafting menu. Obviously, we need to make ourselves a crafting table. Actually, I think, you know what? That, that looks really cool over there. You see that little tower like in the side of the mountain? That is really, really neat. That's a cool place to live. Although, I do have to say, where's the door? <laughs> how do you actually get into it? I don't know. All right, um, I'm gonna go over here because we've got houses that are pre-built for us, so we can we can stay safe if nighttime comes along while we try and figure this stuff out. So I think that, no, that was jump. So okay, there we go. We open our menu, and then we can make some planks here. So let's make a bunch of acacia planks, which is a disgusting color. Look at that. It looks like we're making wood out of carrots or something. Hello, hi, sir. Um. It, are you just gonna stare at me? Is this what we're doing now? Your nose is beautiful. Beautiful nose you've got there. All right, let's uh, let's make ourselves a crafting table. Come on, you can do this. I can do this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, there we go. We got ourselves a crafting table. Oh, we can do the double click trick too. So we can stack all our stuff super fast. All right, so now I need to get out of here and then I need to scroll over to my crafting table and then set it. Ha! Look at me! I'm Minecrafting! This guy's very proud of me. You see how happy he is about the whole situation? Thank you, sir. Thank you for congratulating me. All right, so now we have to figure out how to use the crafting table. I think, yeah, I think, yeah, we're in the crafting menu. Okay, cool. So we can use our little crafting book uh, because let's face it, it's gonna be a lot easier to use this than it is to manually place the recipes. Also, I don't know a lot of the recipes, so um, I'm, I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. All right, let's make ourselves a couple of uh, sticks here, and then, uh, are there bad guys around here? Oh, the sun is definitely going down. That doesn't seem good. All right, uh, let's make ourselves some good stuff. So we should be able to make ourselves some tools, I figure. Yeah, we can make ourselves a pickaxe, but why isn't it showing up here in our in our little, little grid thingamabobber? Now a pickaxe shows up. Do I have to make them manually first? Let's make myself a, a sword here. So I can defend myself. Okay, so I have to make it first and then it'll show up? Is that how it- Well, oh, wait, no. No. I, I don't know, actually. All right, that's fine. We made ourselves an axe, a pickaxe, and a wooden sword. So we probably want to get stone going here soon. Uh, let's, let's get out of here. Did I just do something? I think I just did something. Okay, this is fine. This is totally fine. It is very dark. 
Oh, hello. H hi. Yes. Okay. That is a zombie. A zombie is attacking us. Okay. Good thing we have our sword here. Oh, good. Another zombie. Everybody wants to join the party, huh? All right. Fine. Let's hang out. Let's do this. Let's do this. Get a little combat in here. I got to learn how to beat up zombies. This is awesome. Oh, my gosh. This is really really cool okay can i get inside of here there we go that's what i'm talking about all right we're gonna hang out together you and me buddy you got anything for sale here yeah i can give you some string i don't have any string i'm sorry i wonder if any of these guys have beds inside of their houses that would be great if i could just sleep through the night because i don't really want to do this i don't want to deal with all these monsters i'm climbing the ladder oh my gosh this is so stinking crazy again something that you guys aren't really getting to experience unless you're in the headset is the scale i mean that skeleton over there he he's he's as big as me it's crazy this is so stinking cool i'm gonna drop down i uh that looks like a pretty tall drop <laughs> i don't know about this okay here we go oh oh we took a little bit of damage. I am playing on easy, by the way, uh, because I am a noob, a double noob, as we talked about. Not very good at Minecraft and not very good at playing Minecraft with a Vive. So uh, I, I made it a little bit easier on myself. I'm going to go over to the stone house over here because this looks real nice. Right, can I can I come in? Is it OK? All right. Thank you. Thank you for letting me come in. I'm just going to walk around you and go up your ladder here all the way to the very very tippy top oh, 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 oh okay don't jump over the edge look at us on top of the tower i rule the world now this is my village creeper you stand no chance against me all right so uh we could just start you know actually i'm gonna do that i'm gonna take some of this stone i apologize to the man who owns this house but uh Hey, this stone is a valuable resource right now. We got to get things started here. So let's chop down all our stone here. And maybe once we get some proper... Oh my gosh, don't fall off. Goodness gracious. Uh, once we get some proper stone tools going, maybe we'll uh, start digging down and mining into the depths of the earth. That'll be fun. Uh, maybe try to find some more valuable resources. Obviously, we want to get some iron. And uh, I, I don't think we'll be getting diamond in this in this particular episode, but who knows? You never know. Oh, oh, you have a guest. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. Wait a second. Does that mean that we can actually mine by like hitting stuff? Oh my gosh. I did not know that. I was pressing a button to mine up to this point, which works fine. You know, you can just press the right trigger basically. But apparently, we can just walk up to stuff and actually hit it. That is so stinking awesome. Oh my gosh, that really adds to like the immersion. Okay, so uh, our crafting table, unfortunately, I, uh, I left it outside. So that was pretty dumb. Yeah, I don't have my crafting table. All right, we gotta go on an adventure here. All right, you guys coming with me? Probably not. You're just gonna hide in your corners. Okay, that's fine. Just, I, I'm sorry that I did that again. I just punch people when I'm gesturing. I apologize. All right, can I, can I leave now? Oh, 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 uh, okay. All right, well, we pushed that man out of his own house and he seems to be very upset about that. Okay, yep, there's a lot of skeletons. There's a creeper. Okay, this is, this is fantastic. Get around the cactus and then punch this thing. Punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it. I should probably be using my axe, but I don't have time to switch. Oh! Oh, creeper! Creeper! Oh, gosh. Okay, okay, zombie over there. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna go back to my stone house. This is fine. This is fine. Let's go in here. Yep, close the door. Hello, sir. It's, it's good to see you again. I did survive, so I'm very happy about that. Okay, let's go into our inventory. And, uh, oh, there's a zombie at the door. That's fun. Everybody loves zombies at the door. We want to place it. You actually, you roll your fingers. You guys might not be able to see this. Also, I have no idea where the camera is right now. But you basically roll your fingers across the touchpad on top of the Vive controller to select items in your inventory, which is a really cool way of switching. Okay, so let's place that. Now we have access 
to our uh, crafting table inside this house with this weird lab coat man here and then a zombie behind him there, there is a zombie behind you you realize that there is literally a zombie knocking on your door don't answer it you don't want to talk to him oh check this out okay so now we have all the recipes for stone stuff i i don't know why it didn't work before but that's cool that we have access to all this stuff now uh, yeah, we can make, uh, cobblestone walls, and we can make ladders, and of course we need a furnace. We should probably make ourselves a furnace right off the bat, okay? I think that we have enough for at least a sword. Uh, do we have enough for a pickaxe? Those are the most important, is a pickaxe and a sword, right? Like, that's what we really, really want. Um, probably a regular stone axe would be good to have. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And then our other stuff is pretty much obsolete now, but that's fine. Uh, we can put this stuff in our inventory, just like a so. And there you go. This is this is really, really cool. I'm having a great time just kind of learning how to do this. I hope that you guys are enjoying this episode. Please let me know in the comment section. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I was just telling the people if they're enjoying this that they can... Why they can just leave a comment and let let me know if they want to keep watching it I I don't know if these people who are living in this village want me to keep doing this because I I have a bad tendency of hitting them with anything that is in my hands I'm, I'm so sorry about that sir. Um, I can't help but notice that it is daytime. Yep That sure looks like blue sky and uh, there's a zombie still at the door uh, what's what's that about? He he should leave. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have to kill him. We're gonna have to do this. Ha! Hoo! Ha! E! Hey! Oh! What what happened to my axe? No, not my axe. My sword! My sword! I accidentally switched from my sword. Oh my gosh! I am dying. I am dying, very very slowly. A, a slow and painful death. Okay, this is not good. Um, I need to eat. But I don't see any food around here. There's a creeper. That's that's not gonna help me with my food situation. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe these will? Are these potatoes? Oh yeah, we got some potatoes here. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get ourselves some potatoes. Alright, that's good stuff. I'm glad that we started in a village because, my goodness, I would be an absolute mess otherwise. Like, getting food on my own and stuff. Now I'm getting all tangled up in my cables. Uh, there's some more stuff over there. That looks like it might be wheat. I, I don't actually know, though. Uh, normally you can tell if wheat is is done growing. I don't think this wheat is done growing, so we probably don't want to harvest that quite yet. Uh, but at least we got some potatoes. Uh, we can eat these raw. Or we can try and get some coal by digging down. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about going into the mines, but uh, maybe it's time. We are surrounded by sand, so I am going to try to make myself a shovel. So let's uh, let's get out of here. Can I, can I get up the, the ladder here? The stairs, please? Thank you. Okay, okay. So I don't have enough for a stone shovel, but I do have enough for a regular wood shovel. So let's go ahead and use that and get out of here and uh, let's start digging ourselves a bit of a mine um, we're not gonna get too crazy but uh, maybe we'll just start like uh, right over here I guess um, so let's start digging out some of the sand what are we actually looking for right now coal we're looking for coal we need coal so that we can cook our potatoes although I should really just eat these potatoes <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's kind of helping. Just eat it up, buddy. Eat it up. Mmm, potatoes. Pretend that they're french fries. That's all you have to do. I know that raw potatoes taste nothing like french fries, but you just need to pretend and stay strong, my friend. Okay, uh, now that we filled our food bar, I think we filled our food bar. Yeah, so our health should start regenerating. Let's switch back to our shovel. I apologize to you guys if this is hard to watch because you guys are pro Minecrafters. I, again, I'm, I'm very much learning how to do this as I go uh, based on the experience that I have with Minecraft, which is is pretty limited. Um, I've, I've mostly played just on the uh, the Xbox 360 version, uh, but it's been several years since I've done that. And then I've done some videos here uh, on YouTube in Minecraft, but most of the time we're doing like mods, so we're not actually 
like playing the game per se. We're just playing around with the mods. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm very much trying to learn as I go here. The, the sand is so annoying. I probably shouldn't have done this in an area that is full of sand, but we're just going to have to deal with it. And hopefully we can get down to the point. Okay, it looks like we are in sandstone now. So hopefully we don't have to worry about sand in caving in on us and, and, and burying us alive here. Ooh, we got some iron. Nice. All right, so we should probably switch to our stone pickaxe, but I figured we could use our wood pickaxe until it dies. But uh, we're at the point where we want to start taking away at this iron here so that we can uh, start making iron tools. So let's go ahead and grab this iron. And we are still looking for coal, though. Hopefully we can find some coal here in our mine. Hmm. It is getting very dark. I'm actually uh, a little bit scared here. Is that coal? No, that was not coal. It's just very dark cobblestone. Okay, I can't see anything. And also, I think I'm kind of on the edge of like my virtual barrier here. So I need to make room for myself. <laughs> I was inside of that wall. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. How are we gonna do this? Let's see if we can take that apart. And then we can kind of make ourselves a little step stool right there. There we go. And then we just need to take this part down. And there we go. Okay, we can get out. Uh, we were not successful in finding coal, unfortunately. But we did find daylight, so that's good. So I think what I'm going to do actually is steal some of these torches. Because these people don't need these torches. I need these torches. I need light. I need light when I go into the dark, scary cavern. So give me your torches, and I will take those. Uh, I know that we can make... I guess we could make coal ourselves out of wood, right? But the problem is, is that there's not a lot of trees around here. Well, I guess there is. So let's maybe chop down some trees and we can start making ourselves some coal by burning wood. Is that how that works? I don't actually remember, but I'm gonna figure it out. Is it wood or can you just burn planks? Cause that would be nice if we could just burn planks. Oh no, I can't reach those. They're too high up. I can't reach that one. I need to get right underneath it. Maybe I can reach it now. There we go. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. All right, can we get this one? Nope, gotta get a little bit closer. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Why could I reach the other ones, but I can't reach this one? Come, come on. Here we go. There we go. We got it. All right, we're definitely not gonna be able to get that one up there. That's fine. Okay, back into our house. Uh, let's place our furnace down. Let's figure out how we can make coal from wood or from planks or however you do it. Okay, so I can go into here and uh, I think that I can just burn regular wood using planks. Is that how that works? So that should convert that oak wood into coal. Yes, charcoal. Okay, perfect. So I think we can make torches out of that. Now I do want to test something here. Can, can, I, can I grab this? Okay, no, you can't do that. Okay, so you can only convert regular wood that is not a plank into charcoal. Good to know. So while that's cooking up, uh, why don't we go get some more wood? So uh, let's let's head out. How do I? Okay, there we go. I, I was I was stuck in the menu. Uh, I want to switch back to my stone axe and let's start chopping down some trees over here. Punch it. Punch the tree. There you go. It's a lot more work, but it feels pretty cool to actually chop down a tree in Minecraft. Okay, so it's starting to get dark. Uh, let's see how our charcoal is doing. Uh, 10 pieces of charcoal is not very much, is it? Um, actually, I think what I'm going to do is pull this stuff out. Uh, take this out as well. Uh, so now we have some a, a decent amount of wood here that I was able to collect. Uh, we can cook up this iron. And uh, maybe we can make ourselves like, uh, I guess an iron pickaxe would probably be the most important tool that we want to get going right now. So I definitely need some more sticks here. That is not what I wanted to do. Grab some sticks. All right, let's grab one more stack. Okay, there we go. So we got 16 sticks. Hello, sir. Hi. Uh, it's getting dark outside. You might want to consider uh, coming inside because because zombies will kill you. Just, just saying. See, you guys are smart. Yeah, yeah, you just watch me craft. Okay, all right, yeah. I like I like the way that you acknowledged me by shaking your head. I appreciate that. Are you having a good day? He didn't do it. He didn't do it that time. Okay, fine. Okay, torches. How do we actually make torches? We get four torches from one charcoal. Oh my gosh, that is a very expensive recipe. At least at this point in time, 
Um, I'm not sure I want to make too many of these. I'll maybe make like 16, although I'd love to have more, but I want to find charcoal, or not charcoal, but actual coal in the ground, and that'll obviously make this whole process a lot easier. All right, so our iron is all done smelting, so let's go ahead and grab that, and obviously we don't want to cook with uh, wood planks as, as long as we, as we don't have to. So as soon as we get coal, we can start cooking with it, and then we can also make torches with it, so it'll be a good thing, we just gotta get to that point. And really, coal is not that hard to find, at least it shouldn't be, um, but I'm having a hard time finding it because I'm not very good. That's, that's how it goes. All right, let's see, we should be able to, why? Do I not have the option to- Hello? Oh my gosh, that guy was in a rush. There it is! Okay, we want an iron pickaxe. Yes, okay. Fully upgraded to iron. No more wood pickaxe, no more stone pickaxe. Although we may come back to the stone pickaxe if our iron one breaks before we get enough iron to replace it with. I would love to find a bed. A bed would be great. Do any of you people actually have beds? Do you guys actually sleep? Do you ever sleep? I don't think you guys sleep. I don't think I've seen you guys close your eyes you just a lot of times you end up just staring at me and it's actually kind of making me feel uncomfortable I, I don't I don't know about this oh another one to, to, to stare at me are you gonna stare at me too are, are you just gonna stand in the corner you're just gonna hide in the corner no you're, you're staring at me too okay this is fun this is great so this is how the whole evening is gonna go we're just gonna stare at each other until the Sun comes up this is Super awkward, you guys. I just want to let you know. It's very awkward. Oh, that's a zombie! That guy just let- almost let a zombie inside of our- our little fort here. Alright, we're gonna take out this zombie. Actually, that's a zombie, uh, uh, villager. Oh, gosh. I- I died. I died. Yep, yep. Slain by a zombie villager. Okay. Um, I hope that we can find- where we were, okay, we were right there, good. It spawned us literally on top of a tree. That is terrifying. Uh, hopefully I can just dig down. Yeah, I can just follow the trunk of this tree, please. Oh, oh, whew. we're okay, we're okay. All right, let's get back to our stuff. I don't know what happened. I think I accidentally threw my sword. Oh, here we go again. All right, switch to my sword. There, you're not gonna take me a second time, buddy. Nuh-uh, not today. I've learned my lesson. Okay, zombie taken care of. Uh, let's go down into the mines. Uh, well, I mean, can we really call these mines? They're, they're, they're kind of dinky mines here. Uh, but, but we're gonna start out a mine. This is the very humble beginning of our mine. Um, also, I need my torches. Can I offhand these? Can I put these in my offhand, please? Put them in there. There we go. Okay, so can I place these? How do I place these? Oh! Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, I got this. I got this. Okay. Hey, look, coal! <laughs> right there. It was right in front of us the whole time. All right, let's get some of this, and there's always more where that comes from. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty of coal in here. All right, that is nice. Thank you, thank you. Oh, there we go. Look at all this coal. This is beautiful. As soon as you find, like, one vein of coal, you're good to go. Like, you get so much from it, so this is awesome. And then, we can just torch it up. There you go. Let there be light. Oh my gosh, okay, this is so much better. Let's continue our adventure here in our mines. Let's dig down a little bit deeper. See if maybe we can find some diamond. I don't think so. I don't think we're gonna find diamond here, but we're gonna try. Light it up. There we go. Oh, that's a hole. Whoa, okay, it looks like we may have found... A bit of a cavern here, a natural one. Um, yeah. Well, this is terrifying. Okay, uh, this is a very, very scary looking cave slash ravine. Oh man, I don't know how we're gonna get down there. Also, once we get down there, how the heck are we gonna get out? Oh, this is a terrible decision, but I'm going for it. I want to explore these mines. All right, let's drop down just a little bit here, okay. Uh, maybe we should set a torch. We should probably set a torch, like, right there. Okay, that's good. And then let's drop down again. Oh, accidentally switch to my shovel again. It's kind of- sometimes your thumb accidentally touches the touchpad, so it's a little touchy in that way, but come on. I mean, we're playing Minecraft here in virtual reality. What else can you ask for? This is awesome. All right, go down here, and then- yeah, okay, we're good there. So now, we're- 
we're almost in the belly of the beast here. Oh, we got some more iron here. Go ahead and grab that. Oh, don't, don't step forward. That would be catastrophic. This is absolutely insane. I guess we could ride the waterfall down. Oh man, this is a terrible decision. Also, I don't have that much food. I mean, this is, this is so dumb, but you only live once, right? Oh gosh. Oh, stay in the waterfall. Stay in the waterfall. There we go. Nice and gentle. There we go. Hey, look at that. We got some gold. I don't know what we're going to do with it. I, I don't really care for gold right now. We got lava. You know what lava means? There's probably diamonds, at least somewhere around here, or we're in diamond level. That's what I've been told. I don't know if that's actually true. Yeah, so we're, we're in it now. Like, we are deep in the belly of the earth right now. And, uh, there's not a lot going for us here. We, we may actually die in this cavern. But I might as well grab this iron while I'm down here, right? I mean, come on. It's, it's good stuff. There's good stuff right there. Oh, hello, bat. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can make this jump here. Hoi! There we go. Oh, took a little bit of damage, though. That's not very good. Uh, let's grab this coal. It's getting scary dark again. I'm gonna place a torch and just move in this direction. We got more than enough coal down here, my goodness. But we also have no idea how to get out of here. Oh my gosh, this is genuinely terrifying. That's where we came from, way up there. I don't know how we're gonna get back up there. I guess we, we might be able to pillar up to there. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should just get out of here. Let's get a little bit more coal. Don't get too greedy. Just get a little bit more coal. And then let's try to pillar ourselves out of here. The pillar maneuver, very, very easy thing to do when you're not playing with uh, VR. I don't know how this is gonna go with the VR headset. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, so we need to get a little bit closer to where we, we popped up. Um, let's see, probably right here, right? I think that's pretty good. Uh, so let's switch over to our cobblestone. And then this is, this is, wait, where's jump? There's jump. And then play. Nope, that's not place. That's that's place. What's holding in my offhand? How do I place what is in? There we go. Okay, we can do this. We can do this, you guys. Here we go. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Pillar up. Get us out of here. Oh, that's not what I want. Come on, come on. We're almost there. Are we there? We're there. We made it. Okay, we just need to pillar up from here now. We got 42 more cobblestone. We're golden. We got this. Oh my goodness. Get me the heck out of here. Here we go. Is this our exit? Oh my gosh, I think this is it. I think we're making it out of here. We made it out alive, you guys. Oh my gosh, let me see the light of day. Oh, there it is. I see the blue sky above me. Oh, it's beautiful. It's never looked more glorious. Please save me, save me. Oh, get out of here. No, you need to go forward. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we know that there is a giant, very scary cavern right below our feet. But the plus side is that there's probably a lot of beautiful resources down there. So we definitely need to go back down there when we're maybe a little bit more prepared. I don't know what I just punched. I apologize to whatever I just punched. But guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Minecraft VR. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, and if you guys have tips for me on, uh, you know, better things that we can do or better tactics that I can use here in the world of Minecraft, let me know in the comment section below. But again, try to keep in mind that I am still very much a noob when it comes to playing this game both on PC and playing it in VR. So we're learning as we go, but guys, that's gonna do it. If you did enjoy this, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.